So, Cadence and Shining Armor are having a baby, huh? Interesting. I wonder what it will be. Well, if I were a gambling man, I'd put my money on Unicorn. Wait, this gives me an idea. Come one, come all! Place your bets on what you think the race of Princess Cadence and Shining Armor's child will be. Will it be an Earth Pony, or will it be a Unicorn or Pegasi? Wow, am I seriously going through with this? I mean, taking bets is one thing, but doing it on what the race of their child will be? That just doesn't sound right. I bet 20 bits that it's a Pegasus! Put me down for 40 bits on Earth Pony, Blue. And I'll bet 50 bits that the little one is born a Unicorn. Introducing, from Hasbro's marketing direction, Princess Dolly. Well, that answers that question. Now on to another one. Where did all of the snow come from? So apparently we're getting both the Christmas special and the Halloween special during the same month. Which is odd, since during Season 2, Hearts Warming Eve came after Nightmare Night. So then, why wasn't that done here? I don't know, maybe I'm just taking this episode for granted. <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here all week. Well, not really, because it's freaking cold here, but you get my point. So the episode begins with Spike and Twilight decorating the castle for Hearts Warming Eve, when Pinkie Pie and Applejack stop by to wish them a happy holiday before they head out to spend the day with Pinkie Pie's family at the walk farm. This should be interesting. During the train ride, Applejack tells Applebloom the story of Hearts Warming Eve, and explains the meaning behind each of the traditions they do, which of course further strengthens Pinkie Pie's bond with the apples, as she points out that her family also holds the same traditions, However, that could just be Pinkie Pie over-exaggerating things like she did in Mod Pie. But regardless, I'm still curious as to see what the two families do together. So, let's continue. After a hilarious encounter with Mod at the train station, the group arrives at the walk farm and both families finally meet one another, and man are their interactions here priceless. Each of the Pie family's distinct personalities combined with the Apple's country-style ones makes for some pretty funny moments in the episode, Pinkie Pie's parents, Igneous Pie and Cloudy Quartz, are the typical Amish couple that speak in an old Puritan language. Limestone Pie is grumpy and hard as a rock when it comes to anyone coming in contact with Hoarder's Border. More on that later. And finally, Marble Pie, who I can already tell is gonna be a fan favorite, has a shy and quiet personality similar to that of Fluttershy's, and is apparently Pinkie Pie's twin sister. Yes, you heard me right, folks. Pinkie Pie has a twin. My baby sister who's only a few minutes younger than me, but she'll always be a baby to me, isn't that right? Hmm, who knew? Anyways, after the Apple family gets settled in, they experience all of the Pie family's Hearts Warming Eve traditions, but soon discover that none of them are what they were expecting. The dinner turns out to be just fox soup, they have to carve their dolls out of stone, and the flag raising gets turned into a find it game, where the winner who finds a certain rock gets to put the flag on Hoarder's boulder. However, despite these dull traditions, this is actually where I thought the humor in the episode really shined, as everyone's interaction with one another was pretty hilarious due to each of their personalities either clashing or playing off of one another in a funny or memorable kind of way. Do you reckon it knows any apple farming hunks? And speaking of memorable, I now have that horrifying image stuck in my head. Thanks, Granny Smith. <laughs> Hello, Rose Quartz. It's Blue Wave. Listen, Rose, could you stop by after my review for a little favor? <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Rose. Oh, and don't ask, but could you bring your shovel with you? <laughs> Great, thanks. Goodbye. Now, back to the episode. After Applejack finds out that Pinkie Pie's family doesn't normally get presents, she decides to add some of her family traditions to the mix. However, it doesn't sit right with the Pie family, as they find the change both strange and insulting to their customs. But what really upsets them is when Applejack unknowingly plants a flagpole on a fault line, and it causes the family boulder to fall over into the mine. Feeling like they've hit rock bottom, Applejack and them decide to head back to Ponyville, but during the train ride home, Granny Smith tells the story behind Hoarder's border and why it's so important to them. 
Realizing her mistake and finding one of Pinkie Pie's presents, the family heads back to the rock farm and helps push the border out of the mine, and the episode ends with Applejack learning to share her traditions rather than trying to force them onto someone else's, and both families enjoy the rest of the holiday with rock poetry from Maud. And that's Hearthbreakers everyone, and honestly, it was a pretty great episode, and here's why. The character interactions between the apples and the pies I thought were cute and very entertaining due to both families' conflicting beliefs and traditions, and each of the characters I found fun and pretty insightful on Pinkie Pie's upbringing. I just wish that each of them had a little more screen time to further expand on their personalities. Applejack I thought was a perfect choice to have tackle the conflicting customs idea, since out of the main six, she's the one that holds family bonds and traditions the closest. Pinkie Pie I thought was fun as always, but at times felt a little too zany. The art design for the rock form and the holiday decorations I thought were both festive and visually appealing, and the humor was great and arguably one of the best parts of the episode. Lastly, the moral I thought was good and is definitely something to keep in mind during the holiday, but I felt its execution could have been handled a lot better. I mean, Applejack was made to look like she was being too pushy, but in reality, all she was doing was sharing her traditions with them after they already finished theirs. And it wasn't like she was ruining their present tradition since Pinkie Pie said that they don't usually get them. Also, just the timing of the episode felt a little off since next week the Halloween episode airs. So other than a few nitpicks here and there, I still think this episode is something worth raving about. Thanks for watching. Hey Blue, I brought my shovel like you asked. Now what did you want me to do? Oh, perfect. Now, listen closely. I want you to hit me in the head until I forget that gross image that Granny Smith left in it a while back. You sure about that, Blue? Of course I am. Now, feel free to start whenever you're ready. Okay, here goes nothing. Ow! Nope, try again. Ow! Nope, still nothing. Ooh! Ah! Ow! Ow! Well, I'm Blue Wave, and... I'll catch you later. Ow!